In infancy, the most commonly misdiagnosed auricular deformity is the prominent ear. These babies look cute and have a normally shaped ear. The key is noting the abnormal projection of the helical rim from the mastoid portion of the skull. When examining the newborn in the first week of life, this uh, distance from the helical rim to the mastoid should not exceed 7 millimeters. When it does, an indication for the ear well is present. The anatomical cause may be an overgrowth of the vertical height of the concha or an increase in the conchal mastoid angle causing the ear to reflect forward. By age 5, when the ear has attained 93% of its adult growth, it may project more than the normal 17 millimeters from the mastoid and create significant anatomic and psychological problems for the child. A final word of advice about treating the prominent ear deformity in infancy is to maintain an aggressive posture uh, in shaping the cartilage. It's easy to see the ear come into shape in the first week or so and think that since the deformity is relatively minor, the treatment should be stopped. However, my experience has been that relapse will invariably occur. So I'm aggressive with the problem of ear deformity and I keep uh, the conformers anteriorly and posteriorly in place, uh, securely holding the ear over the entirety of the uh, treatment regimen, which I believe should extend out to six weeks.